Good evening. I'm Chanel Vehicle Title Expert. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, I do ask that you will please consider subscribing. I bring forth very valuable information about vehicle titles and registrations on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. The information that I'm sharing, uh, you will not get this information from the DMV. They don't have time to relay this information to you. And sometimes if you get through the information that you do receive, it can be confusing. So that's why I'm here. So please check me out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And again, consider subscribing. With that being said, on tonight, I will talk about the consequences of getting a vehicle title illegally. I know you may be asking, you know, how can you get a vehicle title illegally or what am I supposed to do? Well, there is um, a legal way to get titles done or legal ways to get titles done based on your state. You cannot get a title done or process any way that you choose, okay? You have to follow um, the DMV guidelines. I know some of you may not want to be bothered with that. You may not understand that or want to deal with the process, but unfortunately, that's how it is, okay? You cannot pick and choose um, your way when it comes to getting a vehicle title uh, for your vehicle, okay? You cannot, and if you choose to go, um, you know, any other route besides the legal route, there are consequences that will soon follow. So a few examples that some people take uh, when it comes to getting a, a vehicle title illegally um, is number one, reaching out to a mechanic to file a mechanic lien on that vehicle that they purchased without a title. So they believe that if they go to that mechanic uh, to say, hey, you know, file a mechanic lien on this vehicle I don't have a title for. If all goes well, the mechanic will deliver a title um, to them. This is wrong. It's illegal. Uh, you can only file mechanic liens if that mechanic um, had a vehicle in their possession and repairs were made and the customer or owner on record did not come forward um, to compensate accordingly. Okay, so again, you cannot get a title any way that you choose, all right? Um, the second example would be um, someone who purchased a vehicle from a dealership and the vehicle had a lien on it, okay? Uh, the dealer may have given the person uh, the paperwork to go to DMV uh, and get the title work done themselves, but the customer um, falsifies the title or title documents and remove the lien somehow, okay? Normally, probably from that title application. So the customer does this with the uh, purpose of them receiving a title for that vehicle instead of the lien holder. Because if the lien was put in place, the DMV would notate that lien on record. But now a lien is not being uh, recorded, so the lien holder is now without a title, okay? Uh, so this is very uh, problematic for the lien holder because they no longer will be able to have, um, you know, their security interest in that vehicle and they will most likely have to take that person to court, you know, uh, regarding this issue. Another example uh, would be basically, you know, you reaching out to a title agency or shady agency um, that will get a title for you and the measures of them obtaining the title are very secretive. Uh, you don't even know how they're getting the title for you. Let me just uh, say, um, I am um, a title agency, okay, me and my team. So I'm not going to stay here and say that, you know, title agencies are um, always following DMV guidelines. I'm not going to say they they always do or they always don't. I can't say that. I can speak for my company, okay? We do comply with DMV guidelines when it comes to processing vehicle titles and registrations, okay? Uh, point blank period. We, we comply. So I would not get offended if you guys reach out to me and say, Chanel, you know, hey, what steps are you guys going to take 
um, you know, to get me a title. Okay, I would not be offended at all. Please ask. So if you're dealing with a company that is taking secretive measures to obtain a title on your behalf, you're not aware, um, they could be going through an illegal process. And it will come down to, you know, you being in jeopardy when it comes to getting that title. So if you're dealing with that title agency or any agency that's promising to be able to give you a title, make sure you understand the route that they're taking. Uh, make sure um, they're not being secretive uh, or deceptive about the routes that they're taking or the steps. If they seem a little suspicious, you know, that should be a red flag that they might be engaging um, in an illegal method to get you that title. Very important. So with that being said, the consequences of getting uh, a vehicle title illegally are, number one, um, that title will be confiscated and voided. Let me share that, you know, the DMV, uh, they do audit title work very thoroughly all the time. So you may walk away today with a title, but rest assured that title that you obtain illegally will be confiscated and or voided. Okay, and pretty much there's nothing you can do about it. And they do keep records. They do keep title trails uh, of the documents as such. Okay, uh, number two, if your business conducted um, the illegal act, um, especially if you are a dealer, the DMV and the state, um, the um, you know attorney general will shut you down. Okay, very important. Um, number three, a fine or stop uh, can be placed on your record due to, um, you know, having that, that false title or illegal title. And um, also, the Attorney General, you know, it could be in one state, it could be in multiple states, depending on how many people you defrauded pertaining to getting an illegal title or illegal titles, um, they could basically file suit against you. Okay, very serious. Uh, so, you know, the more people you defraud, the bigger the case will be um, against you, essentially. And, you know, finally, jail time um, and penalties could occur as well. Okay, um, what I've shared tonight with y'all is just very brief. Um, this situation here, um, getting titles illegally is very serious. So I can give y'all much more information tonight, but I just wanted to cover the basics, um, you know, regarding getting titles illegally. Uh, be very careful on the steps that you try to take or the, the methods you try to take when you're getting um, a title. Uh, ask questions, okay? Do not feel that you're just going to, you know, again, get a title simply because you feel that that's the best way or because that's the way you want to go. Uh, you cannot do the, do title processing that way. You have to comply uh, with DMV measures. Uh, don't be afraid to ask questions. Again, you know, I'm a title agency. Uh, me and my team, we take a legal approach. So if you're coming to me, uh, my first thing is I'm going to ask you questions. I'm going to assess your situation. I am not going to promise you a title um, if we cannot get you a title because we only take legal um, measures to get you that title in question, okay? Now, we know all the ins and outs uh, when it comes to DMV and, and all of the 50 states, actually, but we're going to comply with the states in question, okay? So I hope this segment, um, you know, was very helpful to you guys on tonight regarding um, the consequences of getting um, a vehicle title illegally. And I hope you guys will, you know, be vigilant and, you know, stand away from um, illegal vehicle uh, title activities um, as you could find yourself in the hot seat uh, with DMV and law enforcement and your state. If you have any questions pertaining to um, vehicle title matters, feel free to drop me a line below um, or visit us at wisdomandauthority.com. Please check me out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays 
Please click, share, and subscribe. I hope to hear from you soon.